We're on the road with Mickey, we're gonna have some fun. Regardless of the rain or sun, our trip has just begun. So buckle up, let's go, we're about to start the show. And maybe if you like us, you'll see where else we'll go. Hi everybody, I'm Sophie, he's Mike, and she's Brenda, and welcome to On the Road with Mickey. If you're returning for another adventure with us, welcome back. We are so glad you have returned safely. And if this is your first episode with us and you're new here, welcome. It's so nice to meet you, and I'm going to show you the reins today. First up, we have our cheddar from the Big Cheese, which is basically our Disney news snippets. And then after that, we have our feature topic, which is what we talk about for most of the episode. And then after that, we have our This Day in Disney History, brought to you by me. And after that is our game of Who's Who. And that is brought to you by Mike, my dad. A oh, fair warning, I'm almost never wrong when it comes to this game. I almost always win it. And then after that, Brenda will be giving us a quote from the big man himself, Walt Disney, and it's just going to be amazing. So buckle up, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the car at all times, make sure you're safe, fasten your seat belts, all that good stuff, and we will see you on the road. It's time to get going. Let's go! Hey everyone, I'm Mike, and she's Sophie. And she's Brenda. Hi, everyone. And he's Grogu. And we're on the road with Mickey. This is episode 103 for January 3rd, 2022. And right off the bat, Happy New Year. We hope everyone has a very great year ahead. And we hope everyone had a safe celebration, whatever your celebration entailed. Yeah. Um, yep. Our feature topic this week is our 2021 or 2021 year in review. Yeah. And I think we've got some really good things that happened in 2021. And we want to kind of highlight a lot of those and a few that maybe not not quite as good, but um, overwhelmingly positive because that's the way we are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but first, I have some updates from last week and the week before um last week we talked about the country bear jamboree as maybe dressing up for the not so scary halloween party if i remember correctly yep. and in that episode i learned that i would be big al if mm -hmm. i were a character on the show and i asked in the facebook group which character you would be and it's a close race between trixie and Big Al, thank you very much. <laughs> but right now, right now, the leader is Trixie. I knew she would be. She's the favorite. <laughs> so there were some other ones. Um, mommy was one of the, what's the three, the, the three sisters? Bonnie, Bubbles, and Beulah. Yeah. she. I think she said she wants to be Bubbles. Yeah. So. Don't we all? You know, <laughs> Cindy is such a bubbly person anyway. Yes, she Absolutely is. Absolutely, she God. is. <laughs> and I also asked, what is on your list to do in 2022? Because we covered that last week. Mm -hmm. And Sheila said that Festival of the Arts is on her list. She's never done it. And it looks amazing. That's Ivan I haven't said. Done it either. Yeah, we haven't done it either. One day, Sophie. Yeah. One day. Ivan, Ivan said that on her bucket list is to go on a Disney cruise. Nice. Ooh. Pam said that she is going to be doing the Dawn of Life Cirque du Soleil on March 26th during the Flower and Garden Festival. <gasps> so, Pam, if you hear this and if you... When you go, let us know what you think of it. Yeah. Jennifer 
This is Pastor Jennifer. This is Pastor Jen, Sophie. She said that Savi's, the fireworks shows, and Ratatouille are this year's hope. She oh, said good. they did COVID Disney for our first Disney trip, and they weren't happening, so we never did the parks in the dark. Oh. And she wants to do a cruise sometime, but... And she just left it at that. Yeah, <laughs> so maybe that's not a, right now. That's a who knows yeah. what kind of hope. That's like a bucket yeah. list for her. Well, uh, Ivan, you you can feel free to join me on the 14th because we'll be cruising out of Galveston and you can just buy your ticket right now and we'll meet up on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and Cindy said she wants to do Rise of the Resistance again and she wants to do this the Candlelight Processional and the Festival of the Arts. And then yes. Chrissy from Billy's Closet of Magic, <gasps> our friend Chrissy said she wants to do everything. Oh, wow. but especially she wants to get a reservation at Space Two Twenty. Yeah, I want to do that too. I want to cool do that in there. Too. Pretty cool. Yeah. So, a lot of great feedback in the Facebook group. If you're not in our Facebook group, go check us out. Just search yeah. for On the Road with Mickey Group, and um. And we'll we'll add you in and we have a lot of fun. And there's some other stuff that I need to talk about next week because we don't have enough time today. Well, thank but, you um, all for writing in. Yay, yeah, those are great. Great feedback. Thank you so much, everyone. And now let's move on to our cheddar from the big cheese. And yesterday, January 2nd, Disney's Typhoon Lagoon Water Park reopened. So the question for you girls and also for everyone listening is, are you a fan of going to the water parks? Absolutely I am, but I've only ever been to Blizzard Beach. Okay. I, I'm typically not that big a fan. and I think I'd rather spend my, my time in the parks than at a water park. Well, yeah. So. It's something that you do if you have that extra day. Okay. What about you, Brenda? I uh, used to love to do water parks when I was younger. Not so much anymore. Okay. No. But if my kids want to do it, I'm going. You know it. <laughs> it that's the way it is. Kids want it. You're on it. That's yeah. Right. That's the mantra. The kids want it. You're on it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. The whole okay. world. Yes. All right. Well, Everyone in listening, let us know. Come back to our Facebook group and let us know. Brenda, I saw you have a bunch of refurbishment reminders. Isn't it hard to keep up with, though? And I've but been posting those reminders because I'm telling you, people are traveling and they're not going to be happy if they get a big surprise when they get there. Right. So, yeah, yeah. And we're going to list them out today just to make sure anyone traveling yep. during those times is aware. So for February 14th through 18th, being Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at Walt Disney World will be closed for routine maintenance. Only for a few days, but I do yeah. have guests there for that few days, unfortunately. But, you know, there's always hope that maybe they'll finish early. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, January 23rd through 28th, the Skyliner service between the Caribbean Beach Resort, the Riviera Resort, and Epcot will be unavailable. Just those five days. Uh, January 10th through February 10th, Splash Mountain will be closed for their routine maintenance. This is not like a big refurb or anything. It's just like their yearly maintenance that happens every January. Uh, and then lastly, January 4th through mid-April, yeah. Expedition <laughs> Everest will be closed for a lengthy refurbishment. Yeah, and everyone listening, if you are looking for a great Facebook page, <laughs> Brenda, Brenda is on it as far as posting these sorts of things. I got all that information straight from her page. Brenda, what's the name of your page? Brenda Kenworthy Dash Pixie Vacations. So search for that, and not only is it a great Facebook page, but it's a great travel agent friend. Thank you. Yeah. You so, are too, Mike. Thank you. Yes. Um, and then all right, Sophie. My turn now. And this now. is something that has already happened, but don't forget it now. The new Star Wars show, The Book of Boba Fett, started on December 29th. And like The Mandalorian, it has weekly episodes throughout the month of January. And this is just part of an exciting lineup of shows coming to Disney Plus in January. 
Yeah. Personally, I can't wait for Kenobi to come out. Obi Wan awesome. Kenobi looks really <laughs> good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, boy, they're really on the ball with those things. Goodness gracious, yeah. they're constantly yep. creating, 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 creating. Yeah, definitely. So that is our cheddar from the big cheese, and it is time to talk about our 2021 year in review. And we have it broken down. We have our positives list, and we have our negatives list, and um, we're just going to kind of circle around and anything that any of us think of that's not on our list we're going to add it to the list so so there you go um you know for me and i imagine for sophie as well and for cindy um one of our biggest positives in 2021 was going to walt disney world for easter and being able to take my mom she hadn't been in so long. She hadn't been since I think 2006. So it's like 15 years. Oh, wow. And we were wow. able to take her. And that was about as memorable a trip as I think I can remember in recent time. What do you think, Soph? I think it was a great trip. I really wish we could bring her back. Well, Maybe we can one day. We'll see. We got to check with her. You know, <laughs> these these Meemaws and Mimis and whatnot have incredibly busy schedules. Thank you. <laughs> and it's, Thank and you. it's really hard to figure out exactly, you know, when we can be fitted into their calendars. <laughs> yeah. Especially now that we live states away. Yeah. I'm but, so grateful y'all got to do that. The last time my yeah. mom could travel with us, I think, was 2013, and she she liter she just can't anymore. And mm -hmm. I miss it so much. I'm just so glad y'all had that time with her. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. And you know, unfortunately, and it's something I got to keep in the front of my head because it always goes in the back of the head where there is no <laughs> nothing happens in the back of the head. Just saying. But what would end up happening is. Sophie and I would would just uh, purely out of just habit, I think we would start picking up our walk, our Disney walk. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and then and That's then right. we turn around and Mom and Cindy are like a hundred miles back, and uh, we stop. That know? would be and, you. I would be picking up mine so that I could keep up with you. Well, then it's me, but <laughs> Cindy would always say to my mom. You know what? We're going to take our time. We'll catch up to them. <laughs> and Cindy is very much more aware and cognizant yeah. of Yeah. Needing to go a little bit slower for my mom. And I'm yeah. and I have to get that back in my mindset when we're around and doing stuff like that. So mm -hmm. I feel bad because I with me, I knew that she was going to be a little bit slower than you, but I kept up with you because I didn't want you getting lost in a crowd. <laughs> I, Even now, I she's worried perfect. about my mental acuity. <laughs> <laughs> I am the perfect balance between you and mommy. I know I have mommy's awareness. I know Mima is not going to be as fast as us. But I also have your speeds. And I'm like, mommy's going to take care of her. I know she is. So I'm going to go take care of daddy. Here you yeah. go. Yeah. All right. So that is the first one we have on our list. Who wants to yeah. read the second one or another one? Well, the second one is a pretty good one, even if that trip was very chaotic, to say the least. And we're talking about the one with that was for the 50th anniversary of Walt Disney World. And Let's just say going to the Magic Kingdom on the 50th was probably one of the best and worst things we could do. Okay. It was the best because everyone was, well, at, in the morning, everyone was crowding around the castle waiting for something to happen. And, of course, you guys already know what we did 
in review of that trip and they didn't really do a lot for the 50th anniversary and it was disappointing but still there's that mean side of me that was like okay cool everyone's gathered here come on let's go get on some rides because you know the lines are going to be short since everyone's standing around yeah. doing nothing yes. yeah and then later on in the afternoon everyone caught on and the lines got extremely long yeah but you're right um yeah it was you know the what they did to celebrate wasn't as much a positive as we wanted it to be yeah, yeah. but but being there and it was it was such a glorious day and being there was absolutely incredible you know it so, was yeah so that was definitely a positive to to be there yeah, yeah. Yeah. All and, right. and then, of course, that was also the day that we met Billy and Chris and Chrissy from Billy's Closet of Magic. Just yep. saying. So Just that saying. made it one of the best days ever. Yes, Pretty it cool. did. It, yes, it did. All right. Brenda, do you want to chime in on something? Well, I'm thinking wh what about our series on the podcast about the nine old men? Oh, there were many good things that came out of that. First of all, we got to do a tribute to Walt's Nine Old Men, which was awesome. I mean, that was yeah. just a great topic. I loved it. I loved sharing all that information. Plus, I got to spend time with you guys. That was that was such a pleasure. That was incredible. And and you know what for everyone listening, what we learned, Sophie and I learned is that the researcher in Brenda is absolutely like night and day better than any research <laughs> sophie and i could ever do yeah like she's yeah. pulling off like a 10 page document on on you know whomever whichever one she picked that day frank thomas and yeah. we've got like a paragraph on mark davis <laughs> i love yeah. doing research you know it was that growing up in the library thing i can't get enough of it i still love going to the library i still am awesome. old school with that stuff it was awesome Brenda. i do like google though <laughs> <laughs> but kudos to you on your research <laughs> that was yeah. a great series i really really loved yeah. it that was a great topic you know I'm glad and i think did and I think in the coming year, we'll pick some other Disney legends and highlight some of them some more, too, throughout yeah. the year. Kind of scatter them in, you know? Yeah. Um, Have so. some in the mind. Okay. But, um, but yeah, that was a great series. Yeah. So, yeah, if you it missed is. it, guys, go check it out on YouTube. Um, or check out on Apple Podcasts, because there's three a series of three episodes, and that covered all nine of them so all right and then of course that leads to some other videos that we've covered on the podcast mm -hmm. our favorite disney memories oh i love that one <laughs> absolutely yeah yeah well we Not have a lot mention. of those don't we <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah almost as much as this unwritten bullet here but our favorite disney food episodes Yes, That's right. we love the food <laughs> Yeah, we have so yes. many of those We have our quite favorite, a few episodes Our favorite food. Disney memories could just be our favorite memories They, I mean, like for all of us, our favorite memories usually involve Disney <laughs> Yeah, they do, they do um, So you're right, they could very yeah. well yeah. Um. And you're right, Sophie. We do have a lot of food episodes. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you know, you can never have too many. That's my mind. That's my mind. That's for sure. Yep. But another one that I really enjoyed from 2021 is when we talked about how Disney goes above and beyond. Because we've all witnessed it. If you've been at Disney and you've and you've been there as a guest or as a travel agent or however your capacity that you're there seeing it everyone has witnessed it and experienced it at some point and you know when that happens it just leaves you in awe and it just yes the the, the feeling you get 
when it happens to you is just incredible. So, so yeah, when Disney goes above and beyond and, um, and if you, if you missed it, like I said, go check it out because some of these I think are, are ones that, that we're very proud that we were able to put up for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. <sighs> you know, we weren't in April, we weren't able to see the reopening. But oh. Brenda in June rode yeah. and was able to experience a certain attraction that we that we loved to talk about and every week it seemed early in the early in the year we talk about hey is the tta gonna reopen you know yeah. i heard that it but i heard that it might reopen i heard that yeah, it, it might this. reopen in time <laughs> yeah. and, and you know on our april trip no reopening Aww. And, Aww. <laughs> <laughs> but the reopening of the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People uh, Mover. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a good it was, one. It was really good. That is was, a favorite. Yeah. 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 It was so good. So glad it's reopened. Oh, I it's am a too. Every single trip. It was just like it was just like a um, like it's hard to explain except for doing the cheer yourself. It was just like oh oh oh. Oh, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah. That's what we're going to be doing when the railroad opens up again. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ever. If ever. And, you know, if you missed it last week, Brenda put a prediction down. Yeah, I did. She spoke it into the Internet. That's so right. it's going to happen. <laughs> and her prediction is that she will be riding the Walt Disney World Railroad in 2022. That's right. And I fully believe it 100% I, in my soul. I do too. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited for when that happens. Mm-hmm. Yes. I am too. Because so. you guys love it so much. It may not be my thing, but I know you guys love it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's everything nostalgic. It's got our names all over it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, there's one thing that's not nostalgic, but it is a all-time favorite movie, and that mm-hmm. is Ratatouille. My whole family loves Ratatouille. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we all got to enjoy Remy's Ratatouille adventure this year for the first I time. I did. And I just, I was waiting for someone to, to snag it so I don't keep talking, but... um. <laughs> Because I could talk the whole list, you know. But, you know, one of the things I thought of just now, just now it happened. Um, And I'm going to say it so I don't forget it. But I want to do an episode, and this will be a hard one, but I want to rank the new attractions and where they they lie on your pecking order. Hmm. Okay, you know, like Rise of Resistance, Smuggler's Run, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, um, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway, Minnie and Mickey's Runaway Railway. Do we, how far back do we go for the new attractions? Do we include Pandora? Hmm. Uh, I don't know, but you, you know, know what? It, we decide, open. right? <laughs> right. It's Disney. Yeah. There's no wrong. There's no wrong answer, at Disney. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I but, do know that I have guests that are. You know, traveling now that have traveled in previous years that haven't experienced Flight of Passage before and they're just now experiencing it. So, so it's probably considered new still. But anyway, yeah. a pecking order of those new open ones would nice. be really cool, I think. Yeah. I think that would be it a good would podcast. Be. Yeah. So, with the thinking we'll caps it. on, ladies. Yeah. But yeah, right. Remy, Remy is... That was so cool. <laughs> it was just, you know, it, it defies words. It was just so cool. If you haven't experienced really cute, it yet, really, really if cute. you got a trip in 2022, you make sure you go and do it because it is up there. Yep. Either virtual queue or purchase that lightning lane. Mm-hmm. Yep. 
the only two ways to ride, so. Yeah. Be prepared. Be yeah. prepared. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Brenda. <laughs> Sophie? Yeah? Want to talk about the next Chris, list? The next one? Chris and Billy? I already have, but I'll keep on talking about them because, wow, we met a lot of people on our 50th anniversary trip. We did. We, like, I don't think we've ever met as many people as we did on that trip. And sure, we meet a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Like, we met, we met Brienne and Tyler way, way back. And you guys still keep up with them on Facebook a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we met a ton of people. And then on the 50th, we met, it felt like it was multiplied by some number of sorts as to how many people we met. And that's the beauty of Disney. It is a place to go and make friends. Yeah. Or if you already have friends and you finally, after 10 years of planning trips, get to meet them for the first time, like I did in November when I got to meet Barbie and PJ and Kevin and Mary. And that was awesome. Yeah, absolutely. And just special, special, um, special. You know, those connections. And, you know, you're a Disney, you're a Disney fan first, travel agent second. So am I. Yes. You know, and. And PJ and her family are Disney fans first. Yes. And clients second. And and like us, you know, seeing Sheila and Randy and Jagan again and being able to celebrate seeing each other at Disney. Yeah. And yeah. And meeting Jackie, you know, when we're in line for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway and meeting Michael and his family on the airplane and on Magical Express, you know, and, and on and on and on all those things. We were all there because we wanted to celebrate Walt and Walt Disney world. Yeah. And we wanted to have fun and, and we did have fun and that just was the connection for all of us being there anyway. And so, Mm -hmm. and then of course, meeting Chris and Billy and, and Chrissy, um, like you mentioned earlier, that just, you know, just keeps adding to that. And it just, it just is, it's an exponential kind of increase. And, you know, even before then, when we, um, when we were at Hollywood studio, Sophie with mommy and we met up with my, with my friends that were the, Pixies and former Pixies, you know, and got to hug them and see them and and get a picture with them. So so even if they weren't new friends, we were re- meeting them again. And that just it, it was just incredible. And it was all because of the celebration and the 50th anniversary. You know, because yeah. that's the only reason we all planned our trips for that time. sharing disney with the disney community is definitely always the icing on the cake yeah always you're absolutely right um so yeah but you know what and i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it together here people because this is important but for me absolutely on the podcast one of the best things that happened in 2021 was that girl standing in front of Walt (laughs) and when she joined our podcast yeah you know Brenda you know we've been friends for so long that this isn't like having you know inviting someone and just getting to know them you know we already know her you know, we already know you, Brenda. I already love y'all. Yeah, and we love you too. And being able to do this has been as natural as peas and carrots. <laughs> as, as... We like peas and carrots again. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and it's just. Or a cupcake. <laughs> yeah. And it's We're just. Sandwiched awesome. together like the icing, right? Exactly. Yeah. You know, we're the, we're the, the icing. On the carrot cake cookie. Oh, yum. Yum. Speaking mm. of food. Yum, yes. 
<laughs> okay, so what I'm hearing is you guys are gonna go eat something after we get off. <laughs> no, I've had breakfast already. <laughs> but anyway, no. yeah, that to me is the absolute. That was the icing. That was the absolute top dog. Most important thing that we had in 2021 was yeah. Brenda joining us. That Don't is you the think, best Sophie? thing that happened for me. Today. Absolutely, it was. Yeah. And you know, for me, um, a couple negatives. You know, Brenda can say that she did some of this, um, but us not being able to do not so scary Halloween party or very Merry Christmas party, Brenda did the alternate. So, but yeah. that was a negative for us and not being able to do the candlelight processional this year but looking forward to being able to possibly do it next year yes in 20 this year coming up 2022 always keeps you dreaming yeah um you know i'm sick of masks (laughs) still having to wear the mask to me is a (sighs) a negative but i understand it you know yeah so i do what i need to do to get my disney that's right whatever we have to do yeah and yeah you know, a negative for me is, you know, the pandemic is here. People, the 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 more thing that is a negative to me is that the fear that people have. And I don't want people to have that fear. So, yeah. you know, I know where, I know where my hope is. Yep. And that's, and that's what, that's what matters to me. And that's why I don't have the fear that a lot of people seem to have some times with regards to the pandemic so but um but that's a negative and and you know but the positives for this for this year for 2021 the positives have far outweighed the negatives in my mind yes for yeah. sure me too you know so i guess the last positive that i want to because i want to close on a positive is you know we touched on it with regards to the um meeting up with friends and seeing family and whatnot but the memories you make with those meetups with friends and family you know the memories we have with Mima, the memories we have on in october 1st and and that trip in october and meeting up with new friends and seeing old friends and so forth Those memories are what keep you going. And that's what just keeps building that positivity in your head, you know, and and you just remember that. And it just, you know, we'll be driving down the road and I'll remember something and I'll get this, this really weird looking grin. And Cindy will be like, (laughs) are you having a stroke? (laughs) And I'll be like, no, I'm just remembering Disney. (laughs) Thank God. (laughs) Oh boy. (laughs) <laughs> but anyway That's those hilarious kinds, Those memories are what makes Disney Disney Yes For me for me. So. I'd love to hear from the listeners too On what their favorite memories were from 2021 oh, I know yeah. there's good stories out there You know oh, yeah. that <laughs> Yeah So closing arguments ladies What is your last Favorite positive thing That happened in 2021 who wants to go first? Well, I'll. I want to say I, I'm. I was pleasantly surprised. Space Two Twenty was. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed really? it. Okay. I enjoyed Good. going up the elevator, the rocket to the restaurant, and seeing all of space. And the food was delicious. Did it, it float? It was a great experience. Did it float? What? Your food No it did not float You know it doesn't last long enough on my plate to float. <laughs> <laughs> So what kind of food oh. did you have We had steak and let me tell you oh. I had a really good steak That was included in the price of the meal uh-huh. But my husband Paid extra to have the coffee The coffee rubbed Some kind of monster steak that was I don't know how many ounces it was it was like 24 ounces or so uh, it was huge yeah and 
they were both del- like all the food we had and the dessert. It was all delicious. I was very impressed. I'm, I really enjoyed it. So that was a positive. Brenda for- is a fan. Yeah, I really liked it. Okay. It's an expensive place to eat, but I definitely recommend doing it at least once because it really is a, an experience and it really is good food. Okay. Thank you, Brenda. You're welcome. I, I want to find a reservation at some point. Yay. So. Sophie? All right. Well, my favorite thing has to be when we saw Harmonious at Epcot. Oh, yeah. You know, we didn't even talk about any of that. Yeah. No. Harmonious. <laughs> which, is the, which is the crying shame, let me tell yeah. you. It was, that had to be one of my favorite nights at Disney World. That, you know, that was incredible. I was, yeah. we, that was, was that the day we ate at Garden Grill? Yes, it was. Yeah, so and we then, ate at Garden Grill. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Sophie, continue. Oh, no. Um. Okay, so we eat at Garden Grill, and I'm just going in order of the story so we eat at garden grill and let me tell you that shortcake the berry shortcake that we had that i had because i ate most of it was (laughs) delicious but then afterwards as it keeps on getting later and later um jake and aunt sheila and uncle randy they were with us they unfortunately had to go because they were leaving the next day early flight Real yeah, to go back to, yeah, to go back to California where they live. And so that left us with a bunch of time just waiting for Harmonious to start. And my parents, they were like, okay, we have a good spot here. It was right between Mexico and Norway. Mm-hmm. It was a great spot, too. And they were like, we're just going to chill here and wait for the um show to start. I did as well, and then after, like, five minutes, I was like, I am bored, which is never a good thing at Disney. (laughs) Never, ever, ever. That's heresy, so obviously I had to fix that. So I basically told my parents, I'm going to go over and see Norway, and then I came back five minutes later. I'm going to go over and see the African trading post, then I came back. 15 minutes later, I was like, I really want some ice cream. I'm going to go over to France, which was on the entirely other side of the park. Yes. The girl ended up, their girl ended up walking the whole loop of World Showcase. Wow. Absolutely, I did. And I did the last half of it with a chocolate ice cream cone in my hand that was dripping everywhere. Uh Uh-oh. And it was great. It was good. Yep. And I met some other people in line for that. I was scared. I was like, oh, my gosh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? Because I could. The time was going closer and closer. They they turn all the lights off. Yep. And I was scared. Yeah. But me, I was thinking I was worried about the bridges. Like the bridges in the canals with the friendship boats and stuff. I didn't know if they would have to draw those up to bring anything else for the show into the lagoon. So I was like, when do the bridges close? I have to get across. Yeah. So thankfully I did. Not an issue though. Yep. I was doing my own Disney walk and it probably would have made you winded, daddy. (laughs) Probably but I was would've. so proud of myself that night. I did. I she walked the fun. entire park that was, by myself. You know what? That was the start of a solo trip. Yes, it was. Yep. That was a piece. At least of a the solo dreaming trip. of the solo trip. Uh huh. Yep. So and anyway, yeah, harmonious. Harmonious. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just the music alone, goodness. Oh yeah, and the and, then, and the way that they do it with, like, you've got like eight or nine or however many segments and each one's about five minutes long and it's a segment of a movie and it has its own stuff to go with it 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 blew me away how good it was really good really really good yeah yeah and then just that last song because i remember the last song amazingly because it's one of my favorite non-disney songs they include it was someday 
And I don't know if you guys know the song, but it goes, Someday life will be fairer, need will be rarer, and greed will not pay. Godspeed, this bright millennium on its way. Let it come someday. So that's the song, and it's just, it's a tearjerker. Very it's, good, Sophie. Thank you for sharing. Thank you and for I love that us. song because yeah. it, it's not a Disney song. So the fact that they included it makes that all the more deep and meaningful for me. Yeah. And I was. I was standing up on top of the bench we were sitting on, and I was just singing away to every single song that was in that show. And so were some of the cast members that were near us. Uh-huh. And I was just like, oh, my gosh, we are a huge, big Disney family. That's right. Yep. Exactly. It was awesome. It was That's right. awesome. Yay. So cool. Yeah. Great. Great way to close us out, Sophie. Yes, thank you. Thank and you too, Brenda. Thank you for your stories. Thank and, you for everything. And for your positivity and everything. Thank you for so, including me. Absolutely. So, folks, that wraps up our feature topic. And now it is time to segue back to Sophie for this day in Disney history. Yay! Sophie? And I've got two bits that happened got? on the same day. In 1965, January 3rd, Disneyland observes its 10th anniversary with a Tencennial Parade. And I did not have the time to look up pictures of it, but I'm sure that somewhere there are going to be those old photos of it and they're going to look amazing. Yeah. And then on top of that... Walt Disney also introduces a host of coming attractions to Disneyland on TV's Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Color. He is joined in this episode by Julie Rhyme, the first Disneyland ambassador, who he refers to as Miss Disneyland. And this is season 11, episode 13. Sweet. Nice. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, Sophie. Thank, Thank you. you. That's all I've got, unfortunately. Not unfortunately. That's awesome. That was great stuff. Yeah, that is definitely something to celebrate. And Walt was still here. Yeah. Yes, he was. <clears throat> so. Oh, boy. Here we go. Glasses are on. The Uh-oh. gloves are off. Uh oh. Hmm. I have three clues. For my Stump the Soap character. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <clears throat> I love this part of the show. <laughs> this character's nickname is E. E, you say. E, I say. E. Okay, I am thinking of a character, but it's not from an animated movie. Then it's wrong. Yeah, that's Uh-oh. the problem. <laughs> All right, give her another one, Mike. This one is entirely animated. <laughs> yeah. This All right, character see. looks for a real design challenge. Hmm. Real design challenge? Oh my gosh. Edna Mode. Yep, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> How the first did clue I was that? Costume, the first clue was costume designer. Very and I'm like, good. That one can't be the first clue. Very so good. Going. Yay. Yay, Sophie. Thank now, you. Now I have three bits of did you know? One you already know because Edna's nickname is E. And yeah. by the way, Brenda, Sophie and my grandmother, Sophie's Nana, um, that's my mom's mom. Her name was Edna. 
Awesome. My mother's name is Edna. Awesome. <laughs> you call her E? No, you call her Do Mama. Not. I call her Mama Sita. <laughs> <laughs> But I think that's awesome. And here's some more. Did you know that Edna in the movie is actually voiced by a man? Ooh, I did not know that. I did know that. I believe he was the director. He was for this. He was a writer. He wasn't the director. Oh, but it was. Yeah, dir- he was. It was uh, voiced by the Incredibles writer Brad Bird. Wow. I did not know that. an animator who was trained under Eric Larson. Yeah. Wow. And Edna is half Japanese and half German. And this is something you could tell your mama. Mm -hmm. Okay, Brenda? Uh Uh-huh. Her name literally translates to fashion in German. Oh, nice. So you could tell your mom. You know, when you dress up with it all, you're all looking so fine. That's because your name translates to fashion. That's cool. That is cool. Yeah. But that's my, did you know, I opened the page and it came right to Edna Moat. And I said, oh my goodness. That's it. (laughs) And I, you know what? I don't care if I stump the stuff, really. Yeah. Good luck with that. You're never going to stop the cool to, I think it's so cool that you're able to figure them out, Sophie. Yes, yes totally. Yeah, yes. Does Does Grogu help any? No. He's he's the silent non. Not going to give her any he's clues. Silent, kind. silent partner. <laughs> all right. Well. And I love him. Yes. We all we do. all love him. <laughs> yes, we all do. All right. We well, all love it you, is Sophie. time. For a little bit of waltz. Yes, and back back to the music of Harmonious. We're, I went with a music quote today. Nice. So, Waltz said, I like symphonic music. A good concert, if you're kind of relaxed, it can do something to you. It's sort of an emotional break you get by listening to the music. Yeah. Yeah. And that's we all need funny. those emotional breaks. Goodness gracious. Oh, yeah. That's why I love Fantasia so much. Yeah. Well, it's why I love Frozen so much. Yes. <laughs> the, I'm sorry. The music of Frozen was like, here's a regular Disney movie. The music of Frozen is like way up here. That's and, true. And it's not just the songs. It's the meaning behind the songs. Yes. You know, I, I have a whole series on them. On my on my dreams of Disney blog blog that I have, and do you want to build a snowman? Is such a powerful song, and there's so many songs like that in the Disney Music Library, and that's what that's I think in many ways the music of Disney music is yes. in many ways better than the movie, and like Encanto. The song yeah. on Encanto are just, I'm dying to see that. I'm gonna see oh, it soon. You it's on need Disney to. Plus. You can see it on Disney Plus. I now. know. I'm gonna watch it very soon. Oh, it is you so good. You absolutely need to. It is so, so good. That's awesome. So yeah, and the music out of this world. Great. It makes me cry sometimes. Yeah. But anyway, great stuff. Great quote. And yeah, that the music, the music is a big part of any Disney movie. That is for, for sure. For sure, yeah, yeah. Well, my friends, that wraps up our 2021 year in review. I have a challenge for these ladies coming mm-hmm. up next week. Mm. We are counting down your favorite Disney roller coasters. I want you to count yeah. down from worst. To best every roller coaster you've ridden at Disney. Oh boy. Whether okay. It's world, land, if you've been to Paris, if you've been to Shanghai, include those in your list. I want a I want a list from worst to first. Worst to first. Okay. Alright, you I, know what's you know what my worst is gonna be? Yes, I do. And I'm not going to worry about it. We're not going to I know what my it. worst is. <laughs> I can think of the worst.
first, way before I can think of the best, because that's it's harder to narrow oh, down. Oh, absolutely. Is for- yeah. <laughs> so that is our feature topic next week. Oh boy, that's yeah. gonna be fun. Right. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. So, so get ready, everyone. And yep. We hope you all have a wonderful week, Sophie, Grogu, Brenda, and myself. Thank you so much for joining us, and we will. See you you on the road. road. Bye. Bye, Bye, everyone. (laughs) I love it. Great stuff.